What's up, Kansas City? My name is Evan Hayes. I'd like to welcome you to our show today, and I got a special guest here with me, Isaac Wilder. Go ahead and say what's up to the people today. Yo, what's up? I'm, I'm Isaac Wilder, and uh, I am one of the directors of the Free Network Foundation. So we are, we're, 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 we're a group, a uh, national group that helps communities build internet co-ops. I'm from here in Kansas City. We're, we're operating here in Kansas City, working with a bunch of groups around the metro, uh, building a network of the people, by the people, for the people, people's network. Uh, so, so that is basically the idea that rather than going out to a Time Warner or a Google or an AT&T, you become a part of something that replaces those internet service providers with something that, that, that you are a part of and that you are an owner of and that you have control over. So, so that's the basic premise is uh, computer networks for the people. And so are the, these networks that you're putting up with, how, how would a person or the people get access to these, this product? Do they have to put it in themselves? Would you come out and do it or do we have employees? How do they get access to the actual free network? So, so it, it depends on sort of where people are at and how involved they want to be. Now, if somebody wants to just say, hey, come, come put this in for me. I'm not a techie. I'm not interested. We can make that happen. You know, it, 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 the ideal situation, what we'd like to have happen is, is for folks from the community mm -hmm. to build these skills, learn how to do these installations, learn how to build these networks, and then when somebody in their neighborhood or somebody in their community wants to get online, they call up, they say, hey, I need, I need internet, and somebody actually from their community comes out and, and does it, and, and maybe they throw them 10 bucks for doing it, or 20 bucks, or whatever, however, you know, depending on how long it takes, but, you know, just a reasonable, reasonable fee for somebody come out and do that, and then... So, each of, the, yeah. like, so each of these communities are like basically blocks. Why would it say is a community and no one chooses to actually have this, but only one person in that entire community? And then how would he set that up, and how would his network be effective compared to everyone else's, all the, the high-end names, the Googles, the Time Warners, and things like that? Yeah. Would he still be able to have an effective network and amongst an ocean of very large, already set up secure networks? Mm, not necessarily. So, so, so the way it works is it's like a co-op, mm -hmm. right? Where the idea of a co-op doesn't make sense on your own. If you're on your own, it's not a co-op. So in order for the idea to work, what has to happen is that people have to cooperate. That's, that's the essence of the idea. Well, so you have, you have one house, one home in this community has bought the product that we're just trying to get access to this network and use it mm -hmm. and actually they're willing to pay whatever it is. There's one home, one family, got a mom, a dad, and then two children. So you have mm -hmm. a house of four people. Mm -hmm. And how would this home set up in their community, their network, and then once they get it set up, if someone comes to them, how I see, yeah. the process there? So, so the way it works is that right now we've got, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven towers in the, in the metro, okay. all right? And here currently in Kansas Cur Currently in Kansas City, we, oh. have, we have seven towers. Uh, and that's on both sides of the state line. So the way it works is that when somebody in a new neighborhood wants to get on, they have to actually build a tower to connect into that network of towers. So over the, over the whole city, there's this network of towers that all connect to each other. And then once there's a tower in your neighborhood, everybody in that neighborhood connects back to the tower. So for, in order for a neighborhood to come online, in order for a new part of town to participate, somebody in that part of town has to step up and say, all right, we're going to build a tower here. And there are benefits to that, too. I mean, I mean so in order for people to make that investment, like, there, there are benefits to that. But so say that's this, the basic say, idea. Say this family, our, our creative family, is willing to build this tower and put it up and erect it. Do they have to actually build it themselves? I've seen cell phone towers are quite large and very tall, and I don't think the average person can build a tower, correct? Right? Yeah, that's, that's, that's for sure. And, and I should mention that when I say tower, like, it doesn't have to be a big cell phone tower. It's not, it's not on that scale. What, what, what we generally do, most of our towers right now, are we go up on somebody's roof. It's, it's, yeah, it's like installing dish TV almost. Like, we get up on the roof, 
we maybe put a, a you know like some conduit, like a mast, anchor that down, and, and and generally we try to do it where it's just like we put a bunch of cinder blocks on it, so it doesn't actually we don't actually have to penetrate the roof or anything. We just go up on the roof, weight it down, put the mast up, and put the dish up there mm -hmm. so that it can see to the other towers because. In order for the towers to connect, they have to be able to see each other. Obviously. So, 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 uh, so yeah, they would not, folks would not have to build that tower themselves. Now, what I, what I do want to make clear is that over time, in order for the network to be sustainable, folks from inside the community do have to learn how to do this stuff. And they do have to learn how to build, how to maintain, how to keep it running, all of that. And so, no, at this initial phase, we don't expect people to go up and build those towers. But as the network lives and grows, which you have the tower, so now at this point, I guess, would it be trying to get people that are willing to erect these dishes that send signals to your guys at the seven towers that you have here in the city? Well, so the seven towers that we have, those only cover seven specific neighborhoods, right? Uh -huh. So there's a lot more than seven neighborhoods in Kansas City. Obviously. So depending on where somebody is located, either we want them to yeah, participate in one of these neighborhood networks. And, 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 and right now, uh, we've got some stuff going on the west side. We've got stuff going near 31st and Truce. We've got stuff going down on 18th and Vine. And we've got stuff going uh, Rosedale Ridge and Juniper Gardens in KCK. So folks in those areas, uh, yeah, they can participate on the neighborhood level. Folks in other parts of town, it would be a matter of setting up a tower, connecting into the citywide network, and bringing it into their neighborhood. Understood. That's that's good. I'm glad you said that. That uh, that answers a lot of my questions here today, and that's our time here today, folks. My name is Evan Hayes. I'd like to remind you to keep it real because life is too short. And go ahead and say something to the people, and we'll go ahead and get out of here. Say Kate. Be careful out there. Thank you, Kenzie. What's up, Kansas City? I'm Brianna Garlington. I'm Charles Williams. And I'm Derek Parker. And we are CMG. CMG. And we would like to welcome you to follow both websites. That's whatsupkansascity.net and cascadesports.tv. Some of our programs consist of Are You Awoke, Coach's Corner, and many more interviews, news, and blogs. Be sure to like our Facebook page and follow us on Instagram at Cascade Media Group and Twitter at What's Up KC and Cascade Sports. And remember, the victory cost success goes, goes to, to the best prepared. prepared. And when you invest in your community, you are really just, just investing, investing in, in yourself. So don't just like it, share, share it. it.